Hello YouTube, what's up? It's Ivan Wars. Today I have another Halo Wars video, and today we'll be playing a 3v3 against He's Camping, Post War Planet, and the Presidente. And I'll be playing with Knife Pro and uh, Knight. And uh, we'll be running Brute RB Anders, I believe, and I'm the Brute. And uh, they'll be running Double RB Cutter. So uh, this game was a good game where we had a really good comeback, and uh, I fi I figured I'd upload it because we thought we were going to lose and we were going to resign in the beginning, but uh, just decided to play it out and uh, ended up winning. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be going uh, Temple second, and uh, I'm not going to be spending too much early game money because we played these guys a game before and they decided to cheese my base. And uh, so we want to be able to get early Citadel before uh, they can you know, get all their grunts in if they do decide to cheese again. Um, you know, cheesing is kind of annoying, like, I can understand it being done in, like, Exile, because Exile, you, you know, it's a base race, basically, killing the Brute, killing stuff at the beginning with, uh, Hall and Brutes, and, uh, you know, usually, uh, someone will lose their expo, whether it be the UNSC or the Covenant, um, but... Yeah, I don't know, 14 and like Frozen, it's not done a lot, or not, it's like rarely done in customs, but uh, people still decide to do it, I mean, it's whatever. You can avoid it, and uh, if they don't cheese, it's like basically game over, because they put so much money in it, so uh, that's, the, that's the main concern. So, I do bless my first pad and lock my base, and as you can see, I'm not uh, going Inheritance or any Brutes right now, because... Uh, because I do need to upgrade Citadel if they decide to uh, try and cheese, or they, mainly if they come on double offense, because if they come on double offense, we know they're going to cheese. And there we see the blue Brute on the map. I mean, the blue RB on the map, and uh, I believe the red RB too. It's just he was blinded by the blue, and the ghost is aiming main already, so we know they're going to cheese. So uh, I'm going to cube Citadel here and delay my fifth pad, but it's better than you know losing your base. And uh, we see that they don't have any blessed pads, and their bases are locked, so it's an almost guarantee that they're going to cheese. Uh, we are on double offense too, just because like an RB on defense against double RBs don't really do anything, and you know you gotta love when people pad glitch. It's just it's another annoying thing that people do, but it's like I've said it also it doesn't matter. And uh, so now we're just we have both their or one their lifts camped. And, um, this guy is only, has only built one grunt, and we do, I do get it, to like, black bar, if I wasn't in Vortex, I could have, uh, had my chopper ram it, but it would have been too late. And I just queue that pad up, because I don't want him, uh, pad it, glitch, nah, glitching that pad so I can't build on it. So I do kill my blessed pad, but he did, uh, he did spend money on a grunt that only got black bar through, and uh, our RB put our grunts in main, which we didn't know because we really didn't uh, have communication. You'll see like later in the game, he starts lagging out of our party. So uh, we didn't, uh, or initially I didn't know this. I would have hit this face with him, but uh, I do not know. So uh, purple is all these grunts. Uh, he did recall, and uh, he's not paying attention right now because he. Uh, he does get double grunted, which sucks, and like my vortex ends up killing him. But he was gonna die anyway if I didn't vortex because the the grunts would have, I mean, the suicide grunts would have killed him. And now that he's dead, like I really can't do anything here. They have all their hogs here and uh, their Arby's here, and I really can't be spending money vortexing. So I'm only on two pads, I believe, or three pads, something like that. But uh, I mean, their main is on Citadel, and I was thinking about vortexing it, but it's not gonna work and. Uh, we just basically wasted all of our grunts into that main because we're not going to kill it. And I don't want to lose my brute. I want to keep him on defense as long as possible. So uh, I'm just going to start walking around. And uh, start uh, getting my eco up, getting some summits so uh, I can pump banshees or vamps, whatever is needed. Uh, blue, I mean, sorry, green probably does have an expo cleared at this point because we haven't seen his hogs throughout the whole uh, beginning portion of the game. So I'm just going to recall here. 
and uh, just save my chieftain to annoy them. Maybe go up an offense, not really do too much, just to kind of bring their hogs back or bring something back. And uh, or maybe clear out the teleporter, keep him so I can clear uh, or take the money from the teleporter if our hogs decide to clear it. Uh, we are on a triple base though right now. Our as you can see, we have the three bases on our side, the two back expansions and the main, or, or I mean our UNSC, obviously. So uh, I'm getting up a summit, but uh, they are a little ahead of us right here because we did uh, put all of our grunts in the main. We probably could have completely stripped that uh, red purples or blues base if we used those grunts in the pads, but uh, we decided to like try and counter cheese them, I guess, which didn't really work. And uh, here they're they're over there with their RB and some Banshees. So now, if you look at my money right now, like uh, we're only on, I'm only on uh, three blessed pads. My fourth one going up right now, and uh, they already have Banshees. So I need to start getting out some vampires, or else we're gonna be in pretty big trouble from the air. Green does have an Expo with a a VD on it, so we do know he's going tanks. And we did kill the blue RB, but now the purple RB is here along with the air, so we really can't fight that with our hogs, so we're just going to split and get out. Not really paying attention to it right now, but uh, I do uh, see it on the minimap. So I can't really do anything on this expo, but uh, here's his hogs, green hogs. Uh, our, our RB should be rage running over there to kill those hogs. Because it would be, I mean, it wouldn't be too bad if it was this expo because we do have the other one. But it would be nice to keep the triple, especially when we're going hogs. And uh, here's where we thought Knight lagged out, but he didn't. He just left the party. And we're going to lag here, like, again in a couple seconds. So I'm just saving up for tech 2 right now. Um, pretty close, about 300 away, 350. And uh, Green's tank pops out right there. He doesn't have canny. Yet. I'm not sure exactly. He might have it. Um, if I look over there, I'll see. Here's some more of the lag, and he leaves again. We thought for sure this time he lagged out, but well, once again, he didn't. And uh, more lag, which is always annoying. But I believe this is the last bit of lag. Yeah, I believe, yeah, I'm pretty almost positive that is. So uh, I'm about to queue up Tech 2 and start pumping vampires because Blue's on a double summit. And there are RB, alright, so Purple's going all RB at this point and Blue is on a double summit. And uh, I'm going to be going vamps and I believe our RB is on a single summit right now or he might be going all RB right now and then switch to a single summit once he gets Tech 2. So now all the Banshees are coming, boosting over. I think they're coming to my base, so I set my just rally point there. But they're going over to the other expo, the UNSC expo. So uh, once my first vampire comes out, I'm going to go over there. And uh, they're going to aim the pad. We just got, we just upgraded it. So uh, that base should be living. And if they decide to stick there, they're just going to lose all their Banshees. Uh, so there you see he's getting up his uh, single summit. And uh, now green hogs are here, so our RB needs to be down here, killing these hogs. Uh, their RB is at our RB's base, probably dropping in a few suicide grunts, I'm not sure. No, I don't really look. And I'm just trying to keep pumping vamps to get the air war under control. I mean, it's, uh, it's pretty bad that we're forced into vampires going goss. But uh, we were just, at the beginning, we really didn't do any damage on offense, which was the problem. So uh, they just have a big air lead on us. My bad probably should be over there shooting that RB. But it uh, looks like they're going to double team him with Hogs and the RB. And there's the Banshees, so I'm going to send my vampires over. And they're just gonna try and get away. I think I catch a few of my stasis. But they end up getting away. That's always fun. Uh purple Arby's trying to chase the hogs. I'm just gonna start shooting at them with my vamps, do any extra damage that I can with them. Because you'll be surprised. A couple vampires do, do a lot of damage to uh, leaders, like 
if you if you have vampires out and you're trying to push off an RB or a brute, then uh, vampires can uh, take down their health and you can't really rage them or vortex them. It just takes too much money. So they are back at the expo again with the banshees and the their leftover hogs. And uh, there's two candy tanks. So Goss can't really fight. Uh, candy tanks, unless they we have high numbers, which we don't. And uh, the thing is, the only time Goss can fight it is with an RB. So uh, we need our RB to get over here, or else uh, we're not going to be looking too good because we're going to lose this expo. They're trying to take the expo on our side, which is uh, it's annoying because you obviously have to have something over there shooting it, or else they're going to get a shield and just uh, get up a shit ton of supply pads and get ahead <laughs> so uh, our RB can't really come over here right now I probably could send my vampires over there but uh he has it so he's gonna kill it and then try and get over here like we can't let him kill this expo or else we're uh, not gonna be in a good spot he just has a couple warthogs here and uh, I tell my vampires to go shoot him and you know as vampires are always, you know, annoying and pathfinding, they decide to like take forever and then finally go around. I think Air should just be able to fly over a base rather than going around it. Because that's really annoying, especially if you're like boosting across the map. You'll see your uh, banshees to like avoid going over the bases, which really makes no sense. But uh, so I'm gonna bring my vampires on offense because uh, they don't. Right now, we don't think they have a, a significant amount of vampires, and uh, if I can do some damage, like, we need to do some damage, because they have candy tanks and we don't. Uh, we have Goss, and we can't fight candy tanks with Goss. Um, our RB needs to get over there, like, as soon as possible, or else uh, we're going to lose that. Looks like he's walking over. And I'm just going to start shooting these uh, blessed pads, try and hurt his eco. And uh, now Blue's going vampires. And there's his vampires. So uh, going on defense for me really wouldn't do anything with my vampires because uh, we have Goss to fight the vampires, and um, it's just better that I do damage on offense because we need to have some offense right now because we're just forced to play defense and playing defense with Goss really it's it's supposed to go where the the tanks play defense for a while and uh, the tanks. Uh, basically build up until uh until they have enough to fight the goss or get pt and then they can push and win but uh, i killed a pad and a summit and then i'm just gonna leave probably should have killed another pad instead of a summit and uh here i see these vampires and i think about stasising them and i go to but then i just leave because i i figure if uh they stasis me and i stasis him and uh their tanks like they send their reinforcement tanks under me and they have their RB raging. I could get uh, really fucked and lose our lead, and we can't lose our lead right now. It's the only thing that we have going for us. So here's his tanks. There's just a couple that we're trying to pick off, and I have my air shooting at it. Just help the Goss. There's one that's like Black Bar, and uh, there's Purple RB. See on the map, which isn't good. Um, so I'm going to start shooting at the purple RB because uh obviously per, uh, an RB will kill Goss in low numbers and uh I just want to do as much damage as I can to the RB so when they come to an engagement they're gonna he's gonna die quicker or they're gonna have to drop a heal on him so uh right now I realize that they don't have a lot of vampires and our RB is going single summit so I'm going to start taking repeating cannon, and once I lose these vampires in, a, in an engagement, I'm going to start building banshees instead. Just because uh, we do have three summits now, so they're two. Because uh, they're, they're, one of their RBs is going all RB, and one is going double summit, so we do have an advantage. Uh, it looks like we're going to go push with some hogs, and there's his vampires. i try and get a stasis off. But he runs away, and I don't get it. There's the Arby. He's about half health now, and he really can't fight him with his hogs. He could try and kill him, but it really wouldn't be a good idea. They have a Wolverine because they know that they lost their lead, but he does have a pretty big number of tanks, and uh, 
it's not good. <laughs> we let him get on an expo, which uh, this is why you don't want to let UNSC get on an expo. So now I'm going to click Knife Pro because uh, I'm on full pop, and rather than saving up for Tech 3, I'd rather just click my teammates to help them. And uh, we're about to have a really big engagement in the middle right now. And uh, so we see his vampires, I stasis them, and now everything's about to engage. We have the tanks, we have our Goss coming, we have our RB here. Our RB is on tech 2, and we do have some Goss, and uh, here's all the vampires. I do have, well, together we have combined a significant amount more than him. So uh, we're going to start killing their tanks with our RB. I'm watching right now. And uh, our RB does a nice job here. He gets that one to black bar, and he's about to kill it. And then he's going to kill the other one. And we have our Goss uh, fighting the tanks along with our air over it. So uh, the RB is also in the middle too. But I don't think he's on tech too. And uh, here we just killed all their vampires. And uh, we figure right now, hey, we just killed all their vampires. Let's go camp their base with our air. <laughs> and that's exactly what we're going to do. Right now he's too busy raging. So I really can't, uh, I mean, he really can't bring his vamps, but. I do let one get away, but I catch this one. And I'm going to start aiming down my summits, because if we can kill their summits, then uh, we can go straight into Banshees. I probably could have switched to Banshees right now, but I decided to keep humming Vampires, because uh, I think uh, Purple decided to switch to a single summit right now, or a double, I'm not sure. They might have an expo to their RB, so he could be pumping Vampires. I just want to be safe, because I know our RB doesn't have a lot of Vampires, and um, if we lose Air Lead, we're going to basically lose the game. Because our, our Goss are going to be forced to play defense. So, uh, I just flared for incentive vamps because obviously we don't have communication. And they really can't do anything about it. We have three Goss being annoying here. And uh, right now, as you can see, in the beginning, we were, we lost our Expo. And they we had basically had no Goss and no Expo. And now we're on a triple base with Air Lead. And uh, we're stripping their base right now. So I do have a lot of red bar vampires, but uh, it doesn't really matter at this point because we have uh, Goss and Air, and they really can't do anything about it. So we killed a couple pads off him. Now we're going to go to purple and kill a couple uh, turrets, I guess. <laughs> we're down the turrets, which is pretty weird. And he has PT tanks now under it, three PT tanks. And uh, I'm still pumping vampires. I should be pumping banshees right now because they have no vampires at all. And uh, yeah, so vampires don't do a lot of damage, as you can see, but uh, in numbers and a little over time, like they can kill a pad pretty easily. And uh, you can do this freely because we have air lead. That's why air lead is really important in threes. Because if you lose air lead, then uh, you start switching into banshees and banshees become a problem. And once you lose air lead, it's really hard to come back because uh, they killed all your vampires and they still have all their vampires. So your base is being stripped and at the same time, uh, they have more vampires than you and they have banshees. So like you really can't do anything. So we there's like one Goss left. I mean, uh, one PT tank left, and he's trying to defend this. But uh, with all their Goss, with all of our Goss and our RB here, they can't do anything. So this game is coming to a close. Uh, looks like Blue's base is about to die. It's pretty low health, and I'm stripping purple right now. We killed all their tanks, and uh, purple RB's here. Looks like we're gonna double team him. And uh, they resign. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.